Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Polly. I'm out here in the middle of the desert in California near San Bernardino, San Bernardino, the middle of the desert. Today, we'll be dry washing for gold with Martin and our new TikTok friend, Chris Undertaking. Hey, I'm Chris, Chris Undertaking. I've been doing a uh, gold mine for the last couple of years and uh, this is my claim, the Narrows. Dig out here with my two sons. Molly decided to come out here during the heat wave. I have no idea why, but we're doing it anyway. High five. <laughs> No, I wasn't sleeping. Good afternoon with Paulie and Chris again. It's 106 degrees outside. Let's see how you're doing in the sun. Let's be honest, I'm only gonna last maybe an hour. So the whole idea here is to dig out as much material as we can. We put it into this thing, which is essentially just a dry high banker. High banker with no wah-wah. See what this thing looks like. Yeah, this thing, does this thing shit? Yeah, it shakes. That's cool. That's about right. Right, am I right? right. This is my first time doing any dry washing, so I imagine it's gonna get dusty. So luckily this is a dustless dry washer, so it keeps the dust low. So that way it's not blowing it everywhere. Some of the, like the 140 and 151 from Keen. This one's a 190 and it keeps it in close, so it keeps the dust flowing out this way. And okay. then you set it up to where the wind will blow it that way, so that way it's not landing on us. We're just gonna blow it directly in Martin's direction. <laughs> <laughs> so what we have to do is dig a bunch, make a big pile, and then run all that and see what we find. Let me know when you're done moving that rock and I'll ask you if you need a hand. Okay. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. This is awesome, I don't have to do anything. Stone end. Let's call it a day. <laughs> the dirt is a lot harder than it looks. So after doing a little bit of digging, I came to the conclusion that I am not conditioned to dig. It's actually ironstone. I fight at judo. I can lift a bunch of weight. I can bite a pine cone, but I can't use a shovel. Maybe one day. Holy cow. That was stupid. I'm putting my truck in my two crate and my, beat my, two, my hat and I put this on because it's way cooler. It's 107 warm levels right now. So back at home in Canada, that's a thousand degrees. You're doing good, man. Thank you, Polly. Keep it up. So, I just piled up a bunch of uh, material right here and we're just about to run it through the high bank uh, dry washer to see how much gold we can get. What do you think we're gonna get, Martin? I think we'll get at least... <laughs> I think we'll get at least one picker. But first, we're just gonna set the tent over our area so that we don't melt, because I'm already having a really tough time and it's only been two seconds. If you wanna see more of these adventures, please like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a future video. I swapped hats again because this one's just better than the other two. How you feeling? It's hot. I'm thirsty. If it was 107, I wouldn't be out here, but it's only 106, so we're good. I mustered up a bit of strength to help the team with the digging. Whoa! It doesn't matter that what I'm shoveling is softer than what they were shoveling because, well, it just doesn't, okay? I don't know what it is about the desert, but it just feels so not wet. Yes, that cloud is doing its job. Thank you, cloud. So the winter time is the only time that this little river is actually running with water. So in the summertime, this is when everybody likes to come over here and take advantage of the dryness. And by everybody, I just mean him and Martin and me because, well, this is their claim. Hey, so we're gonna do our clean out for the dry washer. We're only doing one run today because it's so bloody hot outside and I don't wanna kill Canadian people. Wanna trade? You inspire me, yeah, here. No, no, wanna trade oh. positions because you're better than I am. No, you inspired a lot no, of people, No, I clean, <laughs> I clean. Right, you ready? So yeah, unfortunately only one run today. That's all the time that Martin and I have time for because we do have to go to LA and it's already about 40 billion degrees right now. Hurry up. <laughs> no. No, I film. No, I film. So since we're in SoCal, we gotta do the taco to make sure that any gold that got past the riffles, we capture. Just in case.
Welcome to the bucket. Hi. How much gold do you think is gonna be in there? <laughs> it looks like the guy from like, what's that movie called when the guy gets like, him and his friend get super like, and they go on Ferris wheel rides? Fear and Loathing yes. Las Vegas? You look like that guy. Oh, thanks. So we just set up the tent in the back of Chris's tailgate. What we're gonna do now is just pan out the material that we just, uh, <laughs> Do you break it, Martin? Yeah. Oh. Oh, my antifreeze. Are you ready? Oh. Yeah. Wait, can you put the water back? I want to do a slow motion <laughs> shot. <laughs> that water's hot. Holy cow. Did we bring pans? No. I didn't even bring a snuffer bottle. I brought a... The opposite, whatever that is. Hey, one shower a month. These are my favorite pans. I have about a hundred of them, and I'm not kidding, at my no, house. He gave me one, he just didn't know it. Oh, I, did? I think I had five the other day. So that whole run came down to one pan that we're gonna let Martin pan, because he seems to be the master, the master panner. I thought I was done for the day. <laughs> I always thought panning would be different in other places, but no, it's all the same. All our hard work and determination came down to this one moment. Martin versus, that's a, wow, that's a lot of black sand. Yeah. The gold tells us that there's black sand around. So as long as we find gold, we'll know we'll have black sand. Mmm. Want some? Oh, I hate that. I wrote a book on how much I hate watermelon. <laughs> a whole book? Yeah. There's a lot of pieces, but down here, down here, down here, okay. some little flakes. Lots and lots of fly poop. It's just a lot of layers of black sand. It's gonna take well, a little while. We're here for the black sand anyways, right? Yeah, we don't yeah. want the gold. All right, not bad. Now I've seen a lot of the gold that's come out here before, and there is a lot of good gold here, but today we just didn't seem to find it, but that's okay. It's about the adventure. One, two, three, four, five. So this gold, unfortunately, isn't enough to weigh. So we're not gonna go back to my place and end up weighing the gold. Plus, I'm in California and I can't. However, Martin and I both came here just to check out the spot and try to come up with some other ideas for the next time we show up. So for sure, we're gonna come back and do more than just one run. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. So please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button or follow me on my other social media platforms for more. Also, big shout out to Martin here for letting me hang out with him today and having a good time. So check him out. It's hot. And of course, Chris undertaking on TikTok. If you want to see some of his videos, check him out on TikTok. We will be back again to find more nuggets and eat watermelon. You want some? Yes. <laughs> I have COVID. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Until the next one, we're on our way to LA. If you guys made it this far, you might as well go a little further because these videos are the best in the world. Yeah. <laughs>